What is going on guys? Welcome to a brand new video up on the channel. Today's video is going to be an exciting one because I have some brand new news to kind of share with you, but I'm not going to go too in depth because I don't want to give it away. Um, but there's also some pretty scary news that I do want to also mention to you guys. But before we do, we are in my room right now, so I got to get outside because it's beautiful outside, guys. It is like 62 degrees outside, really sunny, real nice. You can't even tell because it's overexposed, but let's get outside and I'll continue talking to you guys. So I really wanted to prop my, my camera up here, but because the microphone on top of the camera is way too high above the camera, I can't actually prop it up, so it just, I'm just gonna have to hold the camera and talk to you guys. So I wanted to quickly mention if any of you guys, of course, if you're watching this video, you're big into cars, most likely. Um, if you guys have not yet heard of the RPM Act, I would definitely recommend looking into it. It's a pretty serious thing that we have going on with the EPA right now. A lot of, a lot of things about to change um, in the car and the race car world. For anyone who likes to modify vehicles, for anyone that likes to, you know, do fun stuff with vehicles, racing, tracking, whatever it is, there's a lot of stuff that's about to change. Um, so if you guys have not heard of the RPM Act, definitely look into it, do some research because it's a serious thing that's going on right now. Um, but let's get on to today's topic. So let's move away from that, that sad idea of, uh, the EPA shutting down a lot of, uh, fun car stuff. And actually let's move on to something a little bit more exciting and it has to do with every vehicle that I've ever owned. And that actually is what today's video is going to be about. I'm gonna be talking to you guys about every vehicle that I've ever owned up to this point. Now I am 21 years old, I did go to college and I've owned five vehicles up to this point. This right here that I'm sitting in is my fifth vehicle. It is my 2017 Nissan Altima. Technically it's not my fifth, it was actually really my second vehicle. Um, I've owned two cars and I've owned three motorcycles. Now the reason that I wanted to make this video actually is because I'm going to be buying, well I kind of already have bought, a new vehicle and this car right here is going to be going bye bye. So no more Nissan Altima and I'm going to be getting a new vehicle. Really really excited about that. Now I'm not going to give away what vehicle it is that I have purchased. Um, not until I've actually taken delivery of it and everything is finalized, but everything is so close to being finalized. I, I have literally like hardly anything left to do, probably like one or two more days worth of work and paperwork, and then we are good to go, guys. And this car is gone, and the new car is here in the driveway, officially mine, titled, registered, insured. Um, so I'll give you guys a rundown of every vehicle I've owned in order. So guys, it all started when I was 17 and I got my junior license at the time I was working as a manager um, at Walmart and I, I needed a vehicle because I was riding my bike every single day to work and it sucked when it was, you know, a half hour bike ride one way, snowing, raining, super hot outside, I needed a vehicle. So my dad actually had plans to give me as a hand-me-down, his 2004 Nissan Altima. And I greatly appreciated that because it was an awesome car for me, but the problem with it was that I didn't have that peace of mind. So with owning the 2004 Nissan Altima, I took that thing to work, I took that thing to college. My dad gave it to me when I had about 193,000 miles on it. Really high mileage, still the same transmission as when he'd first bought it. Um, but it had had the engine replaced at about 90,000 miles, so it had about 100,000 miles plus on the engine, and it was getting up there for the transmission. It started slipping, it started going, and I drove that thing for another about year and a half, two years, um, and at 19, I actually traded it in, and I bought this car right here, the 2017 Nissan Altima SV. Now, this car I bought at 43,000 miles. I now have over 70,000 miles on it, in two years, so not a crazy amount. I put about 15,000 miles on it each year, a little bit more than that maybe, um, and I've loved this thing. I've driven the hell out of it, and of course now I'm looking to trade it in and get a new vehicle. But after I got this vehicle, very only a few months after actually, I went and I got my motorcycle license. I took a motorcycle class, I got my motorcycle license, my full motorcycle class license, and um, after that I, I almost immediately bought my first motorcycle, a Suzuki 1998 GSX-R. Now that thing was absolutely awful, way too much power, uh, way too bulky, way too big, I hated it. Sold it immediately. Um, after that, actually, I waited about uh, maybe six months to a year before I then went, and this was at the beginning of COVID, and I bought myself a 2007 Kawasaki Ninja ZX-6R. Amazing bike, 
bought it for a really, really good price, put a lot of money into it though because they needed a lot of work. The motor actually went within about a month of me purchasing it and it sat at the mechanic shop getting worked on for a little over a month. I put thousands of dollars into that, that uh, motorcycle for motor work. Just overall, it sucked. After that, actually, it got stolen within, within three to four months of owning it, which really was not fun. Um, after that, I waited a few months, and in September of 2020, I went and bought myself a 2012 Kawasaki Ninja ZX6R. So another great vehicle, another vehicle I absolutely loved. Had it until December when I sold it, and the guy who owns it now actually has posted a few videos on YouTube. I might leave a link to uh, the actual motorcycle down below so you guys can check it out for yourself. Um, and this was only about three months ago now because it's March of 2021 and I'm now purchasing my sixth vehicle and I'm so excited guys. I am really so crazy excited to be buying this vehicle. This has been one of my dream cars for many years, um, at least the model, but the newer models have since come out and of course I've kind of fallen in love with them, all the mods that are readily available for them. It's, it's overall just become such a vehicle that I need in my life and I'm, I'm very, very fortunate enough to uh, actually be able to get this vehicle. So thank God I am getting this vehicle. Um, but I am trading this one in, of course. So that's, that's a big factor. That is a big factor in me actually getting the vehicle. Um, now, like I said, I don't want to give too much away on what the vehicle actually is. But I am going to tell you guys, I do have a mod list already. I, I have so many mods planned for this vehicle. I will say, supercharger down the road, uh, taillights, headlights coilover, suspension, uh, full brake upgrade kit, uh, fuel injectors. I'm just going to say, like, guys, everything on this car is not going to be staying stock. Now, of course, it's going to take many years to build up and a lot of money. I plan on dumping $30,000 plus maybe into this vehicle over the course of its lifetime in just mods alone, not including maintenance. Um, now, I don't know if that'll give it away because I, I don't think it will, but I'm super excited, guys. I'm stoked to be getting this vehicle. It's, like I said, been one of my dream vehicles for the longest time. And at 21, after owning five vehicles, I can say I am fortunate enough to actually be getting my dream vehicle. And I'm so excited. Um, as long as everything works out with the company and with the bank and everything, which it seems to be so far, um, I'm getting this vehicle, guys. And oh, my god am i excited so that's gonna be it for today's video i'll tell you guys hopefully in the next video what it is hopefully the next video is me actually taking delivery of my new car um so that kind of will narrow it down it is a car it's not a truck or anything but thank you guys so much for tuning in hopefully you guys did enjoy today's video as always leave a like and i'll see you guys in the next one peace